Hello everyone, this is Carl here. Today, I want to show you how to create a simple HSMS host application from scratch in 10 minutes. I'm going to use C-Sharp. First, launch Visual Studio 2019. You can use Visual Studio 2022 or newer version if you want. Let's create a new C-Sharp project. I choose WinForms. Filter C-Sharp Windows and Desktop from the drop-down list. Then you can see WinForms app with .NET Framework. Click Next. Type in the project name, whatever you like. You can also choose the location. Please make sure .NET Framework 4.8 is selected since Dorian is using that specific version. And then click Create. There you go. We got a brand new C Sharp project. Let's put a Dorian HSMS view component on the screen. Open up the toolbox and then choose HSMS view. We want to let Dorian send select request message. So set auto select request property to true. An equipment simulator is running on the same computer. So leave the IP address property as is. And just set port number property to 5000, which is same as the equipment simulator setting. Let's change the object name to HSMS so that it's easy to type in the code. I want this app to connect to the simulator when the app starts. Add some code on load event. HSMS dot connect equals to true. All right, let's see if it connects to the simulator. It looks like it's connected successfully. Let's go back to the code and add Dorian sex to components. One for incoming message. And one for outgoing message. By the way, I'm not OCD, but I want to make them exactly the same size. And also put the Dorian log component so that we can see the communication log on the screen. We want to implement three features. S1 F13 message, which is the established communication, S2 F41 PP select, and start commands. I'm going to put a button. Change the text to S1 F13. Create two copies and rename it to PP Select and Start. Change the name to Message In. message out and log. You can name whatever you feel like intuitive, but shorter the better. Let's handle the received event. Just double click on the HSMS component. Set the received message to message property of message in. And show the SML in the log.
Alrighty, let's run. We can see the select response message in the sex2 component and also in the log. Now we want to send S1F13 message. You can type the message in SML format. You can also use 16 Pro style SML like this if you want. But I believe JustSoft style is more intuitive as a C software engineer. And send the message out. Oh, don't forget to log the message. Let's run the app. Press the button and S1F13 is sent. We received S1F14 as a reply message. Let's add PP select message. It's pretty much same thing as S1F13. So I'm going to copy the code. Change it to S2F41. Add some SML. PP select is a bit complicated. The good news is that C sharp can handle the multi line text string by adding at mark. PPID Recipe one, two, three. Let's try the PP select S one of thirteen and then PP select. Yeah, it worked. Okie dokie. Let's implement the start command. I'm going to copy the PP select. Start command is usually very simple. Just like this. Let's run it. S1F13, PP select, and start all worked and then eventually you will receive the events like this the c sharp source code is just 66 lines very quick and easy that's it i hope you enjoyed this video